Moderna and Pfizer vaccines may offer the best protection against COVID infection. That is the conclusion of a new study from the La Jolla Institute for Immunology, which compared four vaccines head to head. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Aarons has been following this study since June last year. Now that it's published, he spoke in depth with the lead researchers about what they found. These um, are packed with uh, lasers inside and a bunch of fluidics. And Professor Shane Crotty and his team have spent the better part of the last 15 months running blood samples through these machines in their lab, testing the immune response of four different COVID-19 vaccines. Moderna, Pfizer, J&J, and Novavax. The groundbreaking study was the first of its kind to put the vaccines head to head in the same lab. Participants, like me, were paid to give several samples of blood over the course of almost a year. Now, after compiling all the data, the Institute just published the results. Overall, honestly, all four of them did well. All did well, but the mRNA vaccines from Moderna and Pfizer were, quote, consistently the most immunogenic. Specifically, they created higher levels of antibodies than Johnson & Johnson or Novavax. What we found is that the RNA vaccines are really uh, induce a very strong neutralizing antibody response very fast. That means they're better at preventing infection. Researchers found COVID antibodies in 100% of the people with Moderna and Pfizer after their first shot, compared with just 86% of people with Johnson & Johnson. But they also found antibodies had a, quote, substantial decline after a month. To get long-term immunity, a vaccine needs to create memory T and B cells. The study found all four vaccines did that, and levels remained stable over six months. For the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, the amount of memory B cells actually increased over time. That means they are all equally effective at preventing severe disease, hospitalizations, or death. If one can prevent infection altogether, that's, uh, that's great, but certainly uh, to prevent disease uh, is a, a, a totally acceptable goal. The study also compared the vaccines to natural immunity. It found all four gave people higher levels of antibodies and memory cells over six months. Now they can use this data as a baseline for future studies about booster shots, breakthrough infections, variants, and more. It, it keeps uh, uh, surprising and revealing a different aspect that needs to be uh, investigated for sure. In La Jolla, Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. Fascinating. So the researchers say this is also the first study to analyze the differences between mRNA vaccines, protein-based vaccines, and viral vector vaccines. They're hoping this data will help determine which kind of vaccine will work best against any future diseases.